It's your birthday, birthday in here, in me tonight. tonight. Girl, it's your birthday, birthday in here, in me tonight. tonight. Give it to me, go, 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 go shot it. It's your B-day. You and your girls taking shots like a relay. I know y'all only come around when the bottles out. Conversation, cooking abilities. The number one way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And you really can't be boring. With me personally, like, I can't deal with a boring person. Like, I'm an on the go kind of guy. So if you're not, like, upbeat with me, then it's probably just not gonna work. Yeah, that's something for me as well. Like, one of my things is probably being willing to try new things, like, get out there. I don't wanna do the same thing every night. Like, that's, that's something that's important for me, but I don't know. I've got to agree, food is definitely a thing. I mean, if you can cook very well, well or man. enjoy some sort of cooking in a sense, besides like, you know, Easy Mac or something like that, I mean, it's always great. But um, you can't be normal. It's kind of like one of those things, there's a, there's a level of weirdness you must have. Like, you can't just be plain old, like Josh was saying, boring or anything like that. It's like, we don't want the same old routine every day. We don't want to just, wake up and kind of just walk through life. I kind of like the curiosity that could be a, a part of a relationship, you know? You never know how weird someone's gonna be. If I can be as weird as I want around you, which my level of weirdness can go from zero to whatever number you want to say really, really fast. If you can handle that <laughs> and you can do some sort of weird stuff like that, that is perfectly fine, that will keep me happy. Well, I'm gonna say openness. And with openness, that comes with like, you don't really have to be able to know how to cook, but if you're willing to learn, if you're willing to go on adventures with me, because I might randomly say, hey, let's go be homeless in downtown Chicago and see what kind of experience we get. I want to say conversation, but that goes for openness. So I'm glad I said openness. <clears throat> Intimacy, of course, because I'm soft sometimes. I can be, but it depends on the female, like if you get to my spot. Um, <laughs> uh, you have to be ambitious, because I am very ambitious. I want to be successful and every day I work on something to help me become successful and if someone is just as ambitious as me, I would really love that. Um, last thing, I want to say respect, like you got to be very respectful because like, I mean, I'm I'm not as religious as I should be, but I know I will be by the time college is over. So like having respect of like each other's values and like beliefs. Like even if they don't believe in the same thing, if we have respect for each other in every aspect of life, then I think everything will go good. That's the, the respect part. Cause like, no, no guy wants a girl that's not gonna respect them. You, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta let the man be the man of the house at some point. I mean like, no guy wants to be ran. Like I know, uh, I'm not against like women like being empowered and being strong and independent women, but at the end of the day, I feel like the man should like be the leader of the household. And that's just kind of how that goes. Now, respect is a big one. And I like the fact that he said openness. Cause, like, if you're open to trying new things, then you're always open to like do new stuff. And it's never going to be boring if you're open to do new stuff. Me personally, like I already know my female's gonna learn me. I mean, I was working at Toyota and I'm, I'm driving the car for this man. He's like 86. And he was referring to his wife as his boss. Like, she runs his whole life. And uh, he really put me up on game. He was like, every man wants to be the boss in a relationship. And he understands that. But eventually when you get older and you start not being able to do things, you understand that the way that your girl steers you is always gonna be in the right direction. Even if you don't agree with the right then, later you would think like, hey, like what she said was actually true. But a man's pride won't let him tell her that. We just know. So like, 
after he put me up on game, like I'm willing to let her run the relationship and I just be kind of like the backbone or whatever. I liked what he said, what Dante said before about like ambition, and that's cool because I feel like in any relationship, both people are trying to be like this power couple. Like I'm competitive, and I want if, if I'm in a relationship with someone, I want us to be like the couple. Like I want my relationship to be better than everyone else's relationship. And I want that confidence. I want like that. That's just what I want. I want to be a power couple. And then like on top of that, a new thing is like this confidence. And that confidence goes with like not being jealous. I think like that's that's like one of the most important things. Cause I've been in relationships before where I feel like I'm on this leash and I can't talk to anyone because this girl is getting jealous and she doesn't understand that I'm I can talk I have other friends, I have other female friends, but at the end of the day she's still mine and I'm still hers and that she has the confidence to believe that. And that's what I think is really important to go is that she believes that she's my number one because she is. I just don't want like jealousy is a big no for me, so that's another thing. I think one of the big things too is like as long as uh, she's able to find like some sort of happiness by herself, then that's another thing. In a relationship, I, I want to know that she can also be independent and be happy without me right next to her every minute or every second. That she's got some form of her life that produces happiness, and it's not like. Okay, if I'm not there, then there's no happiness in her life. There's no joy because I mean, you can find individual joy and introduce it to a different person. I think that's another thing. You know, a wise man once said, "What's your life about? Enlighten me. Would you rather live on your knees or die on your feet?" And I think the die on the feet turn wasn't you actually dying. It's just like that form of ambition where you want to be successful so much that you're willing to sacrifice, like sleep, and you're willing to help others, like go out your way. And sometimes you may be tired, but go out your way to help improve others. So if I can find a girl that can like that wants to help improve me, then I'm all down for it. Like I think that's a really important component that many females are sometimes afraid to do because they're afraid to lose a man because they think like a man's pride is going to get away. And some some guys they they do lose their pride or they do have pride in oh she can't tell me what to do or stuff like that. But I'm willing to accept a girl who can help improve me. I do think like you can cheat on someone and still care about them. It's just, you're not, probably not in love.